Hi, I'm Evelyn. Before the Maythern Monthly started in 2018, Ryan delivered seven years of videos from Marina Door in Spain. Today we are bringing you highlights of the Marina Door video diary. Enjoy! Marina Dor at Oropesa del Mar never developed into a full-blown holiday resort. In fact, the company that put it together went bankrupt around the time of the global financial crash 2008 to 2010. Hundreds of UK apartment owners were left stranded without any help, so I put together first an email list and then a video diary because I was spending more time in the resort than most of the other owners. The videos you will see here give an idea of the lifestyle we had. We explored the area, an area that has very little English spoken, and we found things that we liked and suited our lifestyle. In Spain, most of the cats live wild, so we had some agonizing moments watching some of them suffer, but most of them were looked after quite well, and some of the locals brought them food, and we always took our leftovers once we realized that that was a good thing to do. What this seven years of videos will show you is that the Spanish enjoy their outdoor life, they have lots of fiestas, and they certainly know how to relax and enjoy themselves. There isn't a lot of fresh water in Spain, the rivers dry up a lot, so having seawater desalinated for local consumption was a brilliant idea. Even more areas are now dug up, including that near the tourist office. And when we've driven around the Oropesa town itself, um, we found that um, many of the roads are closed and being dug up. So whether that's uh, to deliver the fresh water once it's desalinated, I'm not sure. Uh, and the boat that we've seen out at sea has been going backwards and forwards, may have been dragging pipelines, may have had divers going down to uh, secure pipelines under the sea, we don't know. But, uh, We've been watching the goings on and we'll back here every few months to see how it's all going. So we'll keep a, a kind of video diary of all that. This bottle of wine from Christina's restaurant in the campsite area was from one of our favorite venues. And it was the campsite area where we spent most of our winter holidays because Marina Dorf, despite having promised us an all year round resort, provided nothing, everything was closed in the winter and the expression todo el año, all year round, was a lie. As far as I can make out, these lads are counting their tadpoles in Catalan. We've never seen tadpoles this big before, but my friend Colin tells me they don't actually belong in Spain and they must have got here somehow from America. And as we came towards Oropesa station, we saw at the back of the Gran Duque um, a fairground in operation. Um, at night there were the marquees, there was the entertainment and the food and everything else going on. And then uh, in the day there were arena events, they put up arena. Uh, just beside the Grand Duque Hotel and um, other horses and all sorts of things going on there. Not exactly sure how they've advertised this, but um, there were loads of coaches uh, parked at the back. The stalls and marquees and things were where you'd normally park the coaches, so the coaches were at the back car park uh, near the railway. It wasn't a fiesta though, I hasten to add, which was good because it meant the supermarkets and everything was open as well. Uh, so we had entertainment without having everything else shut down. Um, it's January, mid-January 2013. Is this going to be the year of Marina Door? Is it going to be the year of the airport? Still not looking like it. All the things they promised in 2008, 2009 still didn't happen in 2012. I've come here today just to listen to the sound of the sea. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, the sea has so much energy. Putting together a video diary for Marina Dor, I could find some appropriate music, perhaps some Spanish folk music or something like that. But to me, the sounds that matter most here, the ones that I walk straight from the station on my arrival down to the front to here, are these. The sounds of the sea, the Mediterranean crashing on the shores. 
the feeling of immense power that comes from the waves. When you come to Marina Door, you're reminded quite frequently that this was once a camping coast. None of these apartments existed and the whole area was dominated by these campsites. In the winter, it still is. And let's face it, these places know what they're doing. They know how to attract people from various countries in Europe. They know how to serve them. They know how to advertise to them. And they know when they want service. This one on the right is Didotta. Didotta have their menu outside in four languages and they attract people in from all over Europe and possibly other parts of the world. I've certainly seen some Russian registered cars here from time to time. To be fair to the campsites, they've been here a long time and they obviously know what they're doing. Marina Door is relatively new and I perhaps better not comment any further. Now here's an interesting thought. Didotta, the campsite, is abierto todo el año, open the whole year. Now, where have we heard that before? But they really are open all year, and they tell you that in English as well. They know what it takes to run a resort. Anyway, let's be a bit positive, shall we? Um, tell you some of the things that are going on here, because uh, there are some little bits and pieces that are progressing through the winter months. Uh, by the way, it's about 15 degrees here in January. It's very nice, and when the wind drops, it's quite warm. As you can probably gather, I'm letting the younger version of me do a lot of the talking because that's what I did between 2011 and 2018. There's been five or six years since then, so there's obviously a lot more to tell. It's been covered in the Maythorn Monthly for the last five years, and we'll be giving you an update on this area quite soon. This is a video taken from a balcony of our apartment from which we could see the football field and in those days the team that were there were training and they were Villarreal. The other thing that happened in 2013 was that the lights in the main street by the Five Star Hotel uh, were upgraded and also along by the gardens. The Spanish tend to take their holidays mainly in July and August, so the rest of the year is kind of wasted if it wasn't for other European countries coming here to spend some time. The Germans are the main people that occupy the campsites around here, and the English tend to come and stay in their apartments, so there's not that many of us though. 
There's some quite talented people working around this area. For one thing, there are mosaics used in many of the walls and curbs around the area. And on our walk from the supermarket back to our apartment every few days, we were watching this wall being developed with concrete and rock. And by the time it was finished, it was very impressive. Just going back to the apartment for a minute, I was having this big clear out in my storeroom up on the seventh floor and I put the old analog telly, which hasn't worked for years, down by the bin and I got back up to the uh, apartment, looked down and there was a guy already there taking it away. He'd gone through the bin, found a cardboard box, found some kind of strapping wire to strap it into the box, got it on his bike and he was gone just didn't believe it within five minutes of me getting it down from the Trastero bye bye TV as I was saying things start to kick off in June with the hotels and beach bars starting to open up and work continuing right through the summer this stretch along the Med had palm trees originally but uh, they got battered and knocked into the sea so they've taken them all up completely and they're putting a new crazy paving pathway along part of it and then decking boards for the rest Okay, a quick look around the gardens, a uh, usual array of birds, uh, more or less any time of year you come you seem to find ducklings and other young. Uh, the, the caged area where there were parrots and things uh, now have these white fluffy hens and there's always some uh, young birds to look at in there as well. Uh, the peacocks uh, are still strutting around, you can hear them from a long way away, they make a lot of noise and they're also pretty nosy. I did catch one peering out through the railings at a, an electrician who was up a pole doing some wiring and uh, this bird just kept looking at him. Here's another aspect of Marina Door that's personal to me. With so much beautiful scenery around, it was a good place for photographers to bring models to do a photo shoot. And one of these photographers showed me a video camera that I just had to have. DJI Osmo. The camera is mounted on a stick with a three-axis gimbal, which means it gives really steady pictures compared with what I was using up to this point. So this was the point I switched from Full HD to 4K. Suddenly I could take a new type of shot. Because it absorbs all the vibration, I could just switch it on and walk around with it and get quite acceptable steady shots. 
and also being 4K and all that, it produced great quality stills. The camera really came into its own when I went on the tourist road train because there's so much vibration and shaking about and of course these little trains have to go over the speed bumps as well but the camera absorbs so much of the vibration that what's left and what you see in the picture it conveys just the natural roll of the train. By 2016, a lot of the apartment buildings were well over 10 years old, including the ones on the back line where I lived. On the back line and diagonally opposite Mercadona, something else was taking shape. You can see the structure of this building and therefore understand how it only took a few months from foundations to completion. Clever these Chinese. So in a few months it went from this to this. Beginning of October, a week or two ago for me, uh, there was a festival in Oropesa um, where everybody took part. They had a huge brian sized paella pan. They cooked for the whole village. I didn't get any because the queue was so long. Have a look at the video I took where the queue goes right across the town square and uh, right up the hill. We went to the Chinese, but that's me being impatient. You can see from these shots how my new camera allows me to walk in amongst the crowds and just get good close-up pictures. The thing that I hadn't got right in those days was the sound. It took me years and years of experimentation to get the quality of sound that I wanted. And I'm an ex-radio broadcaster, so sound is important to me. Well, I could spend all day in a place like that with all those wonderful smells coming off those paella pans, but the beach was still active. Let's have a quick look down there. Feliz Navidad or Merry Christmas from Spain. It may be mid-December, but by about two o'clock in the afternoon, it's another warm, sunny day. In December and January, the oranges are ripe and they're falling off the trees, so if you don't pick them up and eat them, they will go to waste. I've started to show you the places that we like to go for a drink when we're on our walks, and this one is called El Amare. It has the views of the sea, like this, and there goes my drink.
you'll see near the bottom left the supermarket, Mercadona, top right the Didotta campsite where many of you go to eat and be entertained. The arrow points to the Mercadona roundabout, apparently I shouldn't call it that, it's the Rotunda El Barco, and this is where the bus station has emerged because the Madrid bus, which always went from here, has been joined now by the bus service into Castellón. That now terminates here instead of by the Grand Duque. Uh, the Urbano, the Arapesa circular bus service that's always called here, is now run by a different company. The buses seem to be more frequent. It's a much nicer bus. There it is, the Massa bus, on its little journey around that area. And the airport buses also now stop here. We were a bit worried whether they were going to or not in the beginning, but yes, it's official. It's on the sign. The airport buses stop here. So there's four services that now stop at this roundabout. So we're expecting a bus station sign to be put up real soon. In 2017, a piece of land opposite the Grand Duque Hotel was being developed and soon turned out to be shop units. I filmed the progress of this build every couple of months until it was finally finished. A quick look back at that football field which Villarreal were training on a little earlier in this presentation. Planet Switzerland runs sports holidays around various parts of Europe. You'll notice the Marina Door apartments are the cheapest here and they've made use of the sports facilities here as have other sports organisations in the period we are reporting on. And back at that building site and by our November visit it was all finished. Of course it wasn't open, it won't be open till next July probably. Despierta tu imaginación Bienvenidos a Marinador Todos juntos con esta canción Bienvenidos The use of this warehouse didn't become apparent until after we'd finished doing the Marina Door video diaries but it became another Casada market like the one down near Mercadona On our visit in February 2018, I noticed that a new exit had been provided from the gardens straight on to the beach. Never quite understood why they hadn't done this in the first place, but now they have. This was also the month when Mercadona closed. Fortunately it wasn't permanent, it only closed for renovations and it came back looking a lot better. Just that in the meantime we had to find somewhere else to shop and this was the only one within walking distance. In case you've never been to a hot country, shelters over car parking spaces are common in Spain because your car will bake if it's left out in the sun. The final piece of building work we filmed before the Marina Door Diaries finished was this truck pouring concrete onto a small site in front of the Lasate restaurant. Hopefully you'll keep watching the Maythorn monthly videos. We do a lot in the UK, we still do some in Spain, and we do a fair amount in Bulgaria. So keep watching this channel, or as my AI friend would say, Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now. Bye.